Warning, I am not at all responsible for the possible crashes and or damages you might do to your own computer. Always do your own research and take the necessary precautions when it comes to modding your games on your own PC. Hello Resident Evil players, I am Belkate of Wete, and I'm basically going to show you how to mod your Resident Evil HD Remaster by making it as close to the original PlayStation release. Now, I'm going to open this folder. This is going to be the Fluffy Mod, uh, Fluffy Manager Mod Manager 5000. The Fluffy Manager 5000, Lord, I cannot speak today. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and open the launcher, and this is what this looks like right now, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to remove the mods as what I did. I have no mods in this folder. I purposely did this so that you could see that I have a clean slate because I want yours to look as clean as possible, essentially. So here's a blank slate. We're gonna fill up with some mods to essentially make Resident Evil Master look like 1996 release. So first thing we're going to do is that we're going to open a new window. And this new window here, I'm going to basically show you how to navigate two websites called Nexus Mods, and the other is called Resident Evil Modding Community. Now, let's actually go to the Resident Evil Modding Boards. ResidentEvilModding.Boards.net is the website itself. If you Google it, you'll definitely find it, blah, blah, blah. But I will have a link below this specific page in the description. So as you can see here, there's quite a few games. Now we're focusing on HD Remaster. So we're gonna go down here to Resident Evil Classics, Resident Evil Remaster Modding. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And then we're also going to look at Resident Evil Remaster Modification Releases. Now, we also have a board here that is works in progress. We have a modding tutorials, which is pretty good. If you don't know how to mod something, this might, you know, basically defeat the purpose of the video. And of course, general chat, but we're gonna go ahead and click the modification releases. Now here, I'm gonna open some new tabs. First thing I'm gonna do is open, right click here on audio modification. I'm gonna open a new tab, and that's gonna be basically all the audio stuff that's gonna be there. So first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to right click and open a new tab, the 1996 soundtrack, which is the first one here. We're gonna right click and open a new tab for the voice acting. And then we're gonna right click and open a new tab for inventory and menu sounds. And then we're gonna go down to 1996 title and voice. And we're gonna go ahead and open that as well. Now, this is what this is going to look like. These are going to be the links down below that you're going to see. But I'm going to show you here how to navigate this and what to click on so that you don't accidentally, you know, mess up your PC. So down below, we're going to start, first of all, with the 1996 soundtrack. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see that there's a video that showcases the soundtrack from the original 1986 game. Click the mediafire.com download down below. And you're going to see this. Do not click on anything else you see except for this right here. Go ahead and hit download. And you should see down here that there's going to be a music file. Now, we're not going to mess with that just yet. And I'll explain why. Make sure this stays up. And for some reason that you do manage to, um, like, you know, exit out of this, go ahead and hit show all. And it will show you all your recent downloads. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this right now since it's already downloaded. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit at the soundtrack. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and find the voice acting from this link here that you will see down below. Uh, there's a video that says Wesker is a crazy man. I'm gonna showcases the Resident Evil 1 voice acting that will be in the final game, believe it or not. We're gonna go ahead and hit download. This is going to bring us to another media fire page. Do not click anything else. Click right here. We're going to hit download and you can actually exit out now and it's going to still download no matter what. Now that we're done with the voice acting, we're going to go ahead and exit out of that tab. Now, this is where you have a choice. You can go through media fire or Nexus for this particular mod. For the sake of the video, I'm going to show how to use both. Now, 
if we want the separate files, you can go ahead and click this. For example, this is just the inventory sounds. As in when you're playing the game, you're going to basically be messing around the inventory. This is what this is. You're going to be hearing that all throughout the game. And you can go ahead and download that if you want, but hold your horses just for a second. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of it. There's a reason why. Same thing is going to be the same for the main menu sounds, which that's basically what you could only hear on the title screen. Then we also have the inventory and damage sounds, which is a pack, and the main menu and title call sounds. Okay, I'm going to get to this in a second, but let me go ahead and open up the Nexus mod uh, link, which I'm going to right click and open a new tab. It's going to appear right here. If you look down below, there's going to be a description of everything that's there. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit files and you're going to see four separate files. If you want to be able to pick and choose, you can go ahead and download just, you know, a separate file. But for the sake of the video, I want everything, including the damage sounds and the inventory sounds. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and download each of these four packs from Nexus mods. What you would do is hit manual download. And then you'll go down below. Hit slow download if you're not a premium member. And then the download will start down below within a few seconds. And that's how Nexus Mods works. As you see, there it is. Again, now that I have that settled, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this tab completely because I'm going to use Mediafire for the other ones. Now that I have the inventory sounds, as you see right down below, if you highlight, basically, if you use your mouse, you can highlight the file and it will tell you the full title. So you can basically match up which ones that you have. Now, the first file here is from Mediafire is the one that I downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab for the rest of these. And you're going to see that I'm going to have basically the um, same Mediafire page. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And I'm going to exit out of that. Download this. And exit out of that. Download again. And exit out one more time. All right. Now that I have all four of those files saved, I can go ahead and hit the X button right here. I don't need this page anymore. Now, this is a really fun one. This one is basically... Um, this, this is basically the title voice. So, like, whenever you hear, like... You know, you hit the new game and it goes Resident Evil. It, that's what you're going to hear from this. But this will be the original version. So basically what we're going to do is that um, I'm going to go ahead and download link. So here's one thing I have to also mention. He, This guy here has actually done the title screen as well. Now, this doesn't always work and it depends on the language and this person here has to do it by hand. So as he says, I have to edit the texture file by hand and it's a huge pain. So I'm only making new languages on request. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and hit the download link. So now we're gonna go ahead and download this. And we're almost done with our downloads. So back on the audio modifications, we're also going to click Right click the 1996 voice acting, 1996 intro cutscene, plus sound effects. These three particular ones, though, let's go to voice acting first. You would go down below here, Mr. Bunny's page, and I see a video that says Wesker is a crazy man, but you're gonna go ahead and hit the neon whatever download link here. I'm colorblind. It'll bring us to this. Go ahead and hit download. As you can see, it will appear right there in the bottom left. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Now, we're going to exit out the voice acting. Now, for the intro cutscene, it's going to bring here to Carmelo Mike's page and hit the download link right on top of this video. And it's going to bring us to another this, another one of this. And of course, we need to download the 1996 soundtrack right here. Make sure that you go ahead and install that. What's really cool about this particular, these particular three mods is that you can literally just drag and drop them into the Fluffy Duck, the Fluffy uh, Manager 5000, the Fluffy Quack Manager. I already have the files here, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. 
but you should be able to drag and drop these three files no problem whatsoever so that is good news all right those are basically gonna be all the mods that we need if i forget any they're gonna be down below for you to install i feel like at this point you probably have learned how to do this on your own so go you go you now the next two are a little tricky i'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this page now as well let's go ahead and open up the model notification uh, the model modification and you see the first one here by zombie Ali is the original 1996 models now let's go ahead and pick this up now down below says ps1 models you can see screenshots it looks amazing because guess what it is so what we're gonna do is go to the bottom now i want to make this very clear either it's going to be the complete pack or characters or just enemies i want to make this very clear that not all of the files are complete yet so for example you might see this tyrant here this is probably the helipad tyrant fight because the lab tyrant when i did try to use this mod was not complete so here's what i suggest you doing i suggest that you don't you go ahead to the download link and now this is going to look a little different so you see there's characters which is going to be just the character models the complete pack which is the character and enemy models and the enemy file which is just the enemies okay Please understand that not every single enemy in a game is at all reskinned. And this is a pretty old file that hasn't been updated since 2016. So with that being said, it's important to keep note that this is unfinished work and hopefully somebody out there can help aid to finish this. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just download the characters and the enemies separately because I will say that with the complete pack, most of the enemies weren't done but when the enemy pack majority of the enemies were complete and i was able to experience more of the ps1 models so i would say don't get the complete pack unless you just want to be a completionist and make a separate file and that's okay but we're just gonna go ahead and download the character one which is gonna bring you to this link here we're gonna hit download i'm gonna go ahead and exit out of characters now and I'm going to go to enemy and it's going to bring us again to another page just like this hit enemy download I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that and I'm going to exit out the retro as well re one retro all right so here's what we're going to do because the character and enemy packs are a little bit more complicated you have to install these the old school ways which I'm going to show you how to do all right so first thing I would do I'm going to just minimize this window and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drag and drop both the character zip file and the enemy zip files here. Because I'm just going to show you now that this is what happens when you try to install it via the Fluffy Manager. When you kind of drag and drop, it just says characters and that's it. But the thing is, is that this file has a lot more than just, you know. Like you see how it says that all this is copied and whatnot. Now here's the problem. Let me show you what it is. See, if you try to launch the game by moving it into Buffy Quack's mod manager, you will notice that the models do not at all load up. Chris is still standard Chris, okay? That's not good. We don't want that. All right. I just wanted to show you what would happen if you try doing that. It doesn't work. So we basically have to do this the old school way of installing mods. And old school way just means the way. So let me go ahead and exit the game now. All right, now we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall this. And basically what I'm going to do now is remove this out of here. If for some reason that you accidentally move a mod in here that doesn't seem to work with the mod manager or is not compatible, this is what you do, okay? Bring up your file explorer, which you, and you can do by hitting search and literally type it in file explorer. And wherever you might have your um, mod file 
located, like that's on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and find it there. Now, here's where the mods are stored. You're going to go where it says games. And then you're going to go find Resident Evil HD. And then you're going to go to mods. And you're going to take this character file and you're just going to bring it back to the desktop. It's not compatible. So what do we do? Oh, well, it's simple. We're going to go ahead and extract these two files here in a mean character into their own unique files. And then we're going to locate the local file of the game, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. And essentially copy and paste. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Steam. Okay. Now here's my Steam. I'm going to full screen it. And I'm going to go to my library. And I'm going down to whoever play. Oh, my friend Harry's playing the Dragon Ball. I'm going to go down to where my Resident Evil section is. And I'm going to click Resident Evil. And here's what I'm going to do. The settings go to properties and this little pop-up will appear we're going to go to local files and then we're going to go ahead and browse the local files now this is where everything related to resident evil hd is going to be i'm going to go ahead and exit out of this pop-up window and i'm actually going to exit out of steam so i'm going to go ahead and move this manager because right now we don't need it now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. Let's minimize that. This folder is going to be called 1986 character and enemy model. All right. Now we're going to drag and drop these two files into this folder. We're going to open that folder. Now we're going to right click on characters and we're going to right click on characters and hit extract here. And it's going to take some time. Let it take its time. Okay. Now we're going to right click on enemy and hit here. As you can see, two new folders are created. Now these folders have what's called a directory. A directory is essentially the path that your files take. Or more or less, it's just a visual aid to show the, you know, the, where, the path of the files. Now, you might be wondering, where the hell do I put all of this? Because what we have to do, we have to take all of this and copy and paste it wherever the hell the uh, file folder is for the character models and enemy models. Same with this. All right. Now, this is where this, the uh, local files help. So, just to reiterate, I'm going to open Steam. You're going to go to library. I'm going to go find Resident Evil. Click Resident Evil. We're going to hit this manage button. Hit the manage button, the manage button, the little gear icon. We're going to go to properties. And this window pops up. Under properties, we're going to go to local files. We're going to go to browse. And we're going to go to native PC. All right. Now, I don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. Okay. So now you're going to see we have these two files side by side. And to make this easier, I'm going to go ahead and basically make them split screen so that you can see what they are side by side. Now, the left is going to be my folder files for my Biohazard HD, which basically Resident Evil HD. And now this is the of the files that I want to put in here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go find where those are. Here's the thing. The directory for these files can be a little bit troublesome and they might not be the one. So if you're not sure if, for example, if you go to model and hit EM, if you're not sure if this is what you're looking for, open up your enemy file and look, do they match? They don't match, do they? Some of them have the same title names, but guess what? They don't exactly match. So this is what we need to do. We need to go back to where ARC, A-R-C is. See how it's 11? If you highlight it, it says 11.2 gigabytes. That's basically where the meat of all your files are going to be for the game. We're going to go ahead, hit M here. And now look, do these files match? They sure look like they do. 
All right, so here's what we're going to do, because this is very good practice. I'm going to go ahead and close both of these out. And I'm actually going to create a new folder. Okay, and this is going to say original. Oops. Original enemy, no, 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 character and enemy files. And there's a reason why we have this named as so, because this folder is going to serve as a backup for all the character models and enemy models in the game. The reason why this is good practice is because say you mess up and you just want to go ahead, copy and paste, then you can basically do that. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and have this little guy here. This folder is going to stay put. Now we're going to open up the file that's going to have our directive from the game. Remember, this is the one from the game. If you're not sure, go ahead and go back up a few times and you will see that this is the file directory. So we're going to go to native. We're going to native PC. Arc. And we're going to go down to enemy or EM and check it out. All this right here, we're going to highlight every single one. Then we're going to highlight every single one. We're going to copy. We're going to open up our original folder. We're going to hit new folder. Put OG enemy models. Open this directory here. And we're going to right click and we're going to paste. And that's going to be our original files for the enemies. Okay. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and make a new folder here. I'm going to call it OG character models. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. See OG character models. All right. Now I'm going to go back to where the original file was that I copied. And for the sake of this, you know, visual aid, I'm going to go ahead and make them side by side. Generally speaking, the player models or the character models would be usually be in PL. Okay. Now, this is going to be all of the character models here in this directory. So let's go ahead and reopen our old file with the characters and let's match it up. OK, em double zero dot arc. Yep. Nine. Yep. That match up, don't they? All right. So that means that this is going to be the replacement file. All right. I'm going to minimize this. And now this is going to be right here. What you're looking at is the folder that I am putting all this data in. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to hit paste. OK, bam, it's all there. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit this folder. I'm going to minimize this folder. And we're going to open this. Now, if you look closely, this is the original file. So this is the backup for all the files that we're going to be replacing in the game. That way we have a copy there. And if we ever want to replace it, we can go ahead and do that. There is another way to replace the old files that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and exit out of this now. We don't need it anymore, at least for now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to my file explorer, which I have it here in the taskbar. And I still have the original folder open for the HC remaster. I'm going to move it to the side like this. If you move it and highlight it, you can drag and drop. And there we go. This is the 1996 models of the characters. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to paste it here. And check it out. I'm going to replace all the files in the destination. And now it's done. Double check. Let's make sure we do the enemy files. If you're not entirely sure, do it again. This is the enemy files that I'm now going to be copying all. I'm going to be pasting in this. And yes, we're going to replace all the files in the destination. Now, that should do it. That should be the end of that part. Sorry it took so long to explain. I just want to be very careful and thorough. And this, my friends, is how you basically play 1996 mode and Resident Evil Remaster. Let's launch the game. Raise the volume up a little bit. And 
And at this point, I'm just going to let you hear, and I'm going to have the volume of the game up and running. Situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our you mission. Haven't found it? No, I haven't found it yet. There are only three Stars members left now: Captain Wesker, Jill, and Barry. In. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. And that, my friends, is how you play 1986 Resident Evil Remastered. In a nutshell, I hope you enjoyed all of this. So, before I forget, if you want to uninstall all bots from this, this is what you do. First, open up the Fluffy Manager. Go right here and hit uninstall all mods. And it will do its thing. See? All the mods are uninstalled and everything is restored. Now we can exit out of it. Now open up Steam. And go to your library. Let's full screen this. Find Resident Evil. Hit the gear. Where is this manage? Go to properties. And now this menu is going to pop up. Go to local files and hit verify the integrity of game files. This is going to take a while. So just let it work. And that's all there is to it. If for some reason you decide to play the game and there's like minor bugs, just go ahead and repeat this process. Um, it's happened to me before. And after the second time I've done this, it worked. So there. There you go. Enjoy. And I hope you can support these modders by going to their respected channels, supporting them through the Patreons, things that they have open for you. And yeah, that's basically it. So thank you for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace. Collect your heroes.